Welcome to Goo Crypto X. In the final part of our DEX DCA bot overview, we will analyze an example of a live running DEX DCA. This is the list of all my DCAs. The green dot near this bot shows that it's actively running. Here you can see the time when it was launched. This bot spends USDC to buy virtual. This is the entry order size. In this case, it's 0.1 virtual. You can also see that the bot has 12 averaging orders. On the right side, you can see some live stats. At this moment, my bot has a position of 3.41 virtual. It's already deep down, having executed seven averaging orders while it is the second iteration or cycle, which means the bot has already completed the first cycle hitting a take profit and entered the second one, where it executed seven averaging orders out of 12. Here you can see the position I hold and my realized PL. Basically, it's the take profit PL from the first iteration since we can see that it's now in its second one. You can also see my unrealized PL, which represents the PL of the position I currently hold. This is APY or annual projected yield. This metric displays my realized PL projected over 365 days. Now let's dive in. First, you see the status, it's running. Here you have several action buttons. There is a stop button that will stop this DCA. When it stops, if the close position option is enabled, it will automatically close it. And if not, it will simply cancel all open orders. The second button is the chart. Similar to how it works with manual orders on Good Crypto X. If you click it, the chart will switch to the relevant trading pair and you will see all your open and executed orders on it. Here you can see my entry level and the point where I entered my current iteration. You can also see all my averaging orders. These ones are the executed ones. You can see when and where exactly they were executed. There are also several averaging orders that are still open here. This is my take profit order, which came down after all these averaging orders executed. You can also see the average price of my current position, as well as my take profit order, placed at the percentage I set before, above this average position price. And the size of the take profit is equal to the size of my position. So the chart enables you to see all of this. If you're done with it, just close the order and it will disappear. Another button that is hidden here is the close position button. If clicked, it will close the current position of the bot at market right away. For example, if you want to cut your risk or if the price went up here but didn't quite reach this take profit level and you want to help your bot, you click this button and it will exit the position and will either stop or move to the next cycle if the repeat on TP option is enabled. The refresh button will refresh the order which is useful in cases when you have some doubts about whether you are seeing the latest data. However, during normal bot operation, everything is updated automatically. Finally, there is a repeat option that pre-fills the form with the exact settings of this bot. It is useful when you want to repeat a close bot or quickly use the same settings for another bot. Now let's dive into the profitability section. Here is the total PNL, which is the sum of the realized and unrealized PNLs. This is the realized PNL of the bot's previous iterations. One important thing to note about the realized PNL here is that it includes the swap fees that you paid to Good Crypto X, but does not include the gas fee that you paid to the blockchain. So this is your realized P&L with gas fee taken into account. It is obviously a bit lower. In this case, it's actually negative since this bot has executed only one take profit order in the previous iteration, while also executing several averaging orders during the current cycle and paying gas fees for all of them. As the bot executes more take profits, this is obviously going to change. However, if you want to decrease the influence of the gas fee on your DCA profitability, you can simply increase the order size. This way, your profit per trade will increase, but the gas fee will remain the same. This is the unrealized PL. It's the PL of my current position. If I stop the bot right now, this is the PL that will be realized. And this is the APY, or annual projected yield. And this is the invested amount which represents the maximum of funds that could have been used by the bot if all the averaging orders had been executed. 
So it's not the actual amount used by the bot, but the theoretical maximum amount that could have been used in any of its iterations. This is an important metric that shows the balance you need to keep in your account for the bot to function normally, and it is used as the basis for all the profitability calculations. Now, moving to the fees section. This is the gas fees showing the total amount that the bot paid to the blockchain for executing your transactions, and it's equivalent in your spend coin. This is the swap fee that you paid to our platform. It is already included in all the profitability calculations. If you want to pay less swap fees, you can hold our tokens, you can mint our ultimate NFT, or grow your trading volume. There are actually even more ways to get swap fee discounts. The Learn More button will take you to our swap fee documentation. The discounts stack up, and obviously, the bigger discount you have, the higher your profitability will be, and the less impact the swap fee will have on your PL. Under the fees, you will find the position section with the size of your current position and it's equivalent in your spend coin. Right below, you can see the VWAP, which stands for Volume Weighted Average Price, or simply, the actual average price of your position. Right under Position, you will see all the parameters of your bot that you chose in the setup form. This is the max slippage set for this specific DCA bot. You specify this parameter during the setup for any order or bot on Good Crypto X. These are the stop and repeat settings that you initially specify during the bot setup here, but you can actually change them on the fly here. Right below are the notification settings. You can get push notifications in your browser or on your phone if you have our app installed. Every order execution will notify you of every order executed by the bot. Every PL change will notify you of executed take profits and stop losses only. And the all-go stops will only alert you if your bot stops for any reason, planned or unplanned. Here is your bot's progress. This is the number of completed cycles. In this case, the bot is currently running its second iteration. Next to it, you can find the duration of the latest cycle. Lastly, you can see the bot's total runtime and the exact time it was launched. Moving now to the activity log. Here you can see all the orders opened by the bot the same ones that you see on the chart. You can also see details of any of those orders by simply hovering over them. You can also explore all the orders already executed by the bot. These orders from its previous cycle. You can see that the bot entered, executed one averaging order, after which the take profit was triggered. And that's all you need to know about running DCAs on decentralized exchanges with Good Crypto X. We're thrilled to be the first non-custodial trading platform to bring the DCA bot to DEXs. We hope you will enjoy it as much as we do. We have a dedicated Telegram channel where we post examples of our best-performing DCA setups. You can find the invite link in the description. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates from GoodCryptoX. See you next time. Bye.